Thank you. Uh, I'll just briefly walk you through the uh, ISTAP program. Uh, my name is Chris Nancy from the Try that. Uh, my name is Chris Dente from the CEO of ISTOT, and uh, as a lot of you probably know, we partnered uh, with the mayor's office to roll out the ISTAT program here in Philadelphia. Uh, the idea behind the program is to help people be prepared in an emergency. Uh, we're really focusing this program on automobile accidents or emergencies that happen in the home. And there are really some basic uh, pieces of information that first responders in the city uh, need to be able to expedite your care, notify your emergency contacts, as well as uh, certain basic things like medications have a huge impact on uh, your treatment uh, once you get to the hospital. So uh, this uh, flyer was in the January water bills, and it's also available in uh, a lot of the uh, fire departments or in the three libraries, uh, so you can pick up those. I also brought uh, some, some stickers that are here in the back area. And it has the basic instructions on what you need to do to participate in the program. Um, let's go ahead and go to the next one. So the basic service is you can go online and put your information. So you can go to the website ice.org and you can put your information in. There's a there's a big free sign up button. And uh, you go in and you create a basic account. I've got one that we set up here for demos with uh, the mayor. Uh, so we'll go ahead and you put in your basic information. Uh, you can create multiple profiles for you and your family members. So you can go through and put in a picture. You can uh, punch in your information. So let's go to the next slide. And the real inf the information we're gathering is very basic. So your name, your age, your gender. Let's go to the next one. Medical information, we're talking about allergies, medications, who your primary care provider is, uh, and who your insurance carrier is, if, if you have that information. And then uh, chronic conditions. Uh, these, are, these are big ones that, that particularly like diabetes, any sort of heart condition, things that uh, need to be known. And then uh, your emergency contacts. And so you can punch in uh, different forms of contacting uh, your family members. and. Uh, once you're done, you just click save, you get a chance to review over all your information, and upon completion, go ahead and keep going, go to the next one. And when you're done, you can print out a form, and the form that prints out is, is a very basic form, and this is an example, so when you print it out, you just fold it up and you stick the form in your glove box. Uh, the reason we have this information or it's set up online is so that you can come back if your medications are changing, your conditions are changing, you can come back and update this information at any time. Uh, the information is secure. Uh, you can also, nobody touches your information, your information is not uh, for sale or for marketing or anything else, you're the only person, person accessing it. Uh, you can print out the form a number of times, put it in your glove box, put it in your, uh, put it in your home, like on your refrigerator, and put the sticker uh, on, the, on the driver's side rear window of your car, or uh, on the front door or in a front facing window of your home. And uh, we've been working with the police department, the fire department, uh, the various EMS agencies uh, in Philadelphia to make sure that there's awareness on how to utilize the program and so forth. I would just say, you know, we've gotten a lot of questions from people about outside of Philadelphia, um, obviously with the fire department support. Um, in the past month, 25 additional EMS agencies around Philadelphia have joined on the program, and so they are in various stages of completing their rollouts, but a couple of them are Citronia Ambulance, Lafayette Ambulance, those guys have all uh, come on board with this program as well. Um, but the idea is keep your information up to date, make the information available. This isn't information that is, uh, you know, information that would be a concern for identity theft or anything like that. It's really uh, your, who you are, who to contact, and uh, medications. And it's very simple information that could potentially uh, save, save your or your loved one's lives. Uh, that's the program. Uh, also, I'll mention if, uh, if anyone doesn't have access to a computer or doesn't want to put their information in online, uh, there are also blank forms that you can get. You can download and print out a blank form on our website or the fire departments are also 
uh, staffed with blank forms, so you can just hand write out the form and put the sticker on your car and provide the information that way if you're more comfortable with that. Uh, with that, I'd open up to uh, any basic questions.